Hey, what's up guys? I'm Henry. And I'm Luke. And this is our van, Steve. And today we want to give you a van tour. So, welcome. All right, guys, let's start it off with the kitchen. This is our main area in the kitchen. Uh, we have a deep sink, so you have a lot of storage in there to just get all the dirty stuff you have. Just pop it in here and that's fine. Uh, we got a two burner stove uh, from the Ford. We really like the design. We uh, in Germany the rules are kind of difficult to uh, actually get it approved, so we need a, a proper one. And this one, the Ford, we really recommend it. We love it. We love the design. Um, right next to it, we have we have some light switches over here. Uh, it switches the main light. Uh, this is our water pump switch, and this is our switch for the power inverter. So right now the water pump is running and water's coming, stop, it's also a pressure switch, uh, which is really neat. You can just put it around, put some water, and as soon as you're done, you just pop it off. And if you want to make sure that the pump is off, like no, no, no voltage is going anywhere, you just can also turn it off again. In our kitchen, everything is pushed to open. Uh, on the big drawer, we have an extra lock down here to make sure it's well secure while driving because that's all where all our heavy stuff is. Uh, let's just open it. That's pretty much everything we need for the kitchen. Pots, pans, some glasses. Uh, we have probably just plastic because it's, it's the safest uh, when you're driving and you don't want stuff going broken. And right, that's pretty much everything. We really, really like those things just to make it organized uh, so nothing is noisy while you're driving. It's just awesome, really can recommend it. Really like that. And uh, next we just have more cupboards, also pushed to open, we have some stuff from the toilet in here, nothing interesting. Um, then over here is our fridge, we just made it perfectly designed so it just fits around the fridge, it has a pretty standard size so we can change it if it ever gets broken or something. And yeah, it runs with gas, theoretically we have it not um, on gas right now but it can run on gas. And we have 12 volts and 230 volts. Just look at it. Look at it. There you go. Just nice big room. Um, we decided not to have a freezer just because we don't really need it in a van. We just uh, have more refrigerator space, and I think it's more useful for us. Over here we have more of our cupboards. It's all like silvery, and down here I think it's just. Yeah, just some cleaning stuff, stuff to uh, get the oven going, and yeah, that, that's pretty much over here. Oh yeah, we still we still have one box over here. Right now, nothing in it, but I'm, I'm sure it's going to be pretty full soon. <laughs> so we've got some more stuff going on over here. You just saw our little tiny wood stove. It's the smallest one that we found. But I think you can get with a glass window, which is obviously really nice. Like we like to see the fire and it's like the heat is amazing. It's like the nicest feeling ever. Then obviously some space for stuff. Right now we've got it for the wood because it looks nice and we need it here anyways. Then another really cool thing. Luke's mom made it. Our curtain for the door. It's really, it's really heavy because you can't really install an extra curtain and this just pops onto it with these little magnets and as you've seen this side is made of the same fabric as our bed cushions okay next thing you show the living room area obviously our table here our dining table you can move that into every direction as you want to just make it more comfortable if they're more perfect more people here and just to give you some space if you want to get out of it and yeah other things to show we've got dimmable lights this is for the led strips under the cupboards and this dimmer over there is for the main light yeah, i'll just dim it <laughs> <laughs> okay then obviously some plugs some USB plugs as well to charge your phone or whatever. I mean, nowadays you just need USB plugs, really. And let's convert it to a bed. Therefore, I'm going to take these cushions away because really they're just for the video. 
I think they are really nice. And they're comfy, so it's good to have them, but I'm going to put them in the front. Just like this. <laughs> and now we have to fit the table if we've moved it into this little hole. It actually works pretty well. And this thing has to disappear somewhere. I'm not coming in there. This comes out. We can put this under here. And then these, these cushions just move into the middle. And boom. You've got a really nice bed. Back here we have some neat little curtains and you just pull them all the way like this and boom you have a comfy little cave. <laughs> Meanwhile I'm just going to show you our cupboards also push to open really simple just some storage space all the same and also with some background light because the light strings were too long so we just like wired them through the whole thing to give you some extra light. Kicking it off with some specs about the van, we got 300 amps, uh, 300 watts solar panel on top, uh, we got 300 amp hours batteries inside the van, um, there we basically have three ways to charge the batteries, first one obviously through the solar panel, through our charging regulator which I'll show you next, and second way is just if you plug in like outside uh, to like a 300 voltage uh, outlet on a camping a lot, you just charge the batteries through it. And our third option is to driving. Just driving charges the batteries as well. So we just make that to make sure you never run out of that voltage. And right now we have just charging regulator here. Just really easy, it just regulates everything. Make sure your um, batteries don't have like over voltage and regulate everything nicely towards the batteries. Um, real simple, we just need this button here. You, If you press it, it shuts everything off. If you press it again, it just, everything is back on. Um, I'm, I'm sure all these other buttons have cool options and cool features. We never needed them, we never figured them out. But yeah, that's basically all we needed. So we're happy with it. Okay, now we are outside the van. You've got a plug for offshore power and a refill station for the water tank. Water tank is 80 liters, nothing special. But now let's come to our ultimate feature. I mean, obviously, how cool is that? You can shower over here. We've got a shower mode with the sink and everything. I mean, it's amazing. So this is what it looks like from the inside. I mean, you don't really have to say a lot. It's just amazing that you've got a huge window and that you can cook here, look outside. You basically are inside already. You can cook from outside, but either way, it's just amazing. And the door like is something we are really happy about. Okay guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, tell us how much you hate the video. Um, we will leave some information below and see you next time.